Hello, my name is Sohan Desai, and for today's video, I'm going to show you the third part of solving the Rubik's Cube, which is 2 log OLL, which means orienting the last layer. In 2 log OLL, you would first orient the edges, then the corners. When you're first making the yellow cross, you're going to ignore the edges. Right now, you're just focusing on the edge pieces. So, if you have the case where it's only a dot and none of the edges are oriented, what you're going to do is you're going to do these moves. You're going to do an F move, then do these these moves, put it back, so now you have a backwards L. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do a double F move, then you're going to do these moves again, and put it back. So now you have the yellow cross for the dot case. When you have the case where two edges are already oriented, make them so that they're facing the bottom and the, and the right. Then what you're going to do, you're going to do a wide F move, do the sequence of moves, and then put it back. So now you have the yellow cross. If you have a case where it's a line, then you're, then you're going to put it like this and not like this. Make sure it's like this, going across. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do an F move, do these earlier moves, put it back, and now you have the yellow cross from the line case. If you have one corner oriented after doing the yellow cross, there are two possible solutions to this. One is when the headlights or the yellow side that's facing is on the left side or on the right side. For this case, it's on the left side. If it's on the left side, what you're going to do is you're going to start from the left. So what you're going to do is you're going to do an L prime. Then you're going to take this pair out, put it back, move the pair out. Then you're going to put it in all in one smooth motion by putting this out, putting this in. And putting it back. Now you have all the all the edges, corners, and edges in oriented. If you look at this case, if you look, the yellow side is not facing here. So if you put this to the if you put the oriented co the the oriented corner on the left side, you'll see that on the right side the yellow side is facing towards me. So if you if you if it's on the right side, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand, and then what you're going to do is you're going to do R, then take this pair out, put it over here and put it back in like this. Put it here, put it back in here. Now everything's oriented. Okay, the next case is when two highlights are facing you and the other two highlights are facing in the opposite, opposite direction. You see here and you see here. You're gonna hold this case so the two highlights are facing to the left and one of them is facing you. What you're gonna do is do these moves. The next case, it will look like a bow tie like this. So, how you're gonna hold this case is if make sure the, the the yellow side is facing you. So, if you look here, this yellow side is facing us. If you hold it like this, this is incorrect because the yellow side is not facing us. If you do this, this is correct. How you're gonna do it is gonna make the the white side facing us. Then do these moves. For this case, you're gonna have one side, one side facing you, and the other side facing the other way, like this. This is not oriented. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use the algorithm. For this case, is when you have two corners already oriented, and you have two headlights facing you. What you're gonna do, you're gonna put the headlights facing you, and do this algorithm. For this case, you're going to have two headlights facing you and the other two headlights facing the other way. What you're going to do, you're going to hold this he headlight facing you. What you're going to do, you're going to use this, F, do this move, but three times, two, three, put it back, and you orientate all, all the corners. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave a like and subscribe.